Uh, is there engines? Uh, is there an airplane engine here? No. There's no actual engine. It takes a while to get the engines, huh? It's uh, all the way out here. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's go back to our contracts. Yeah, I write science fiction. Uh, or try to. Um, I have... I've done such things. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, uh, return to Kerbin from Orbit of Ike. Yeah, I've written a few novels, only the most recent one am I even, even vaguely willing to share. Uh, but I can do better. I'm still developing. Uh, perform visual surveys of Ike. Sounds like a good plan. Crew report, EVA report at the surface, surface sample at this surface. So we've got some hopping to do. And a crew report there. Okay. So, yeah, let's uh, put together an Ike mission. Anything else that we could do there? Now, we do have a tourist who wants to go over to Ike. Unfortunately, that tourist also wants to head to uh, head to Eve and land on Eve. Not exactly sure I can fulfill that travel itinerary very well. But... Suena? So how do we do these tourist things? Uh, available for sightseeing, but not really available for missions, right? So, I don't think they can do EVA reports or all that sort of thing. So, we would have to carry two people if we were trying to send the tourist out as well. Maybe we should hold off on the tourist. It looks like Sidri Kerman is our next person. I don't have to do them all at once. Yeah, I know, but uh, I want to get those bonuses too. But in any case, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we can't send our tourists out to do uh, EVAs, right? You saw planes. Yeah, I was playing with planes earlier. Uh, we landed it. Uh, it was just a little drone, so nothing big. Just testing out how the basic jet engine works. Not very well, basically, is what I found. So, yeah. They can't do anything. They can't do anything in space, right? So yeah, prob So we'll have to have Sidri do it. We need better fuel tanks. That's really what I want to unlock. Do we have a uh, 1.25 to 2.5 meter fuel tank that we can unlock? That would make me very happy. I'll I'll come up with a pretty good design if I can get that one. Uh, that's the puppy. Most of this other stuff I could do without for now. And I want to unlock it. Okay, I have an idea. So, uh, obviously command pod. Eventually, this command pod is returning parachute. And uh, we need a heat shield just for show. Uh, we'll have only half the heat shield stuff. Oh dear, that looks interesting. But is this the right? Eh, it's a little bit heavy. But not for Ike. I mean, it's not heavy for Ike. Let's let's fully. F hmm. We could do some science. We just need to take EVA reports at the surface. Report. Yeah, surface sample. We're gonna have to land twice. I don't think they'd give me a contract that asks me... Have you guys gotten contracts that ask you to do stuff that you can't do? I mean, not physically, but I mean like, have you gotten a surface sample contract when you can't do surface samples? I didn't think that they would allow that. Okay, you haven't had that Langrist? You can't get those con contracts, yeah. 3,233. That should get us... Let's say that gets us back. Uh, so that does all the stuff around around Ike and then returns this vessel back. Let's just plan it that way. We could do something a little bit more spiffy. Do we have those yet? Yeah, we have the tail connectors. That's a good idea, hopefully. Let's see. 
I wonder if it's possible to have a disposable skirt and just dump these off at some point like the Atlas does. That should get off the ground in a hurry. Okay, so the ISP for these is 280. ISP for that is 280. That's a good match. 2,668. And then this was about 2,000. Still a bit short if we want to transfer to Duna. Okay, I think this will work. Now, do I have enough reaction wheel control in the top here? Probably. I mean, it's got the command pod and all. Five, five units of torque. We've got that there. We could do with some fins, I suppose. If I was trying something interesting, I'd, I'd be tempted to land the stage back down again, but we don't have the controller that I want to use for that, and I don't trust putting the Probodobodyne Octo in the middle. Well, it, it should end up in a pretty high trajectory. It'd be interesting. But anyway, we'll leave it be. You could use uh, SRB, or is that just better for getting the higher thrust weight ra Well, there's a lot of thrust weight ratio. Um, when you think about it, these guys on the surface have 200, and then the center engine has uh, 568. So what are we talking about here? 200 times 4 plus 568, and then divide by the mass 1.31. So I saw I knew that we hadn't done uh, done any crude stuff, but we've done mystery goo. If we land in a different location, we could get a different mystery goo. We haven't done high. So uh, so we we can get uh, high over Ike and then some... If we land on one of the other locations. Uh, we could do a mobile materials lab, but that will change the look of things quite a lot. Um, temperature scan, near, high... Well, uh, again, the biome we could get from a different biome. Let's hope they've got us in a different biome instead of the lowlands or southeastern mountain range. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to be useful. But let's carry two goo containers, thermometer, barometer. Yeah, take a scientist long, but that's a lot of mass. We we would have to... I mean, do you guys want to send two people or more? And then uh, use a mainsail? Bigger rocket? We could afford a bigger rocket and send the scientists and all, and maybe the tourists, but we don't really have, we, we'd have to send like two lander cans to add the tourists in. Or maybe we could dump the pilot all together and just have a scientist and use a probe core. Anyway, uh, think about that. So I'll, I'll add the science to this right now. All we're doing is taking the goo, so I don't think a scientist would be very useful. The, the Only the goo containers are going to... And we're landing in two spots. We could do three goo, uh, do exper goo, goo experiments, but that's it. Um, could unlock the bigger crew cabin, not with the funds I've got. Uh, not the funds, the science. Or... Are we talking about this one? You talking about the cockpit? Otherwise, uh, this Mark 1-2 command pod will take 160 science. We don't have that. We could send the cockpit up, but that would look weird. A little bit weird. It could be an interesting design. But we don't have... Oh, yeah, we don't have the right adapter, I don't think. We need an adapter for that form factor to 2.5 meter. Will a decoupler still work if there's struts attaching it to a cabin? Uh, the decouplers usually work. The only exception I found is 3.75 meter decouplers. Those are buggy somehow. Otherwise, uh, the decouplers seem to work. I, I'm not entirely sure if I understand the question, but I think it'd be alright. Okay, ladder. Okay, that should work. 
Uh, it might be that this thing is obstructed. Let me try and shift this down. Oh. There we go. Okay, well, that seems like it. Forty-six thousand funds is pretty cheap uh, for this mission. We've got a lot of possible funds that we're gonna get from the contracts. The struts will will detach usually with some. Oh boy, that didn't look very good. With some, with the exception of the 3.75 meter decoupler, which seems to have trouble with that. New version of FAR just released 30 minutes ago. Well, that's one of the reasons why I haven't played around with it yet. Uh, thank you, Ant-Man, for that update. I like to put the lander can at the bottom of the landing stage and put the fuel tanks on top of it, so you can avoid using ladders. Well, avoiding using ladders isn't a huge thing, though um, if you're on tight on your budget, I guess maybe. Uh, the problem with putting the fuel on top is the center of mass might be iffy. Oh boy, am I ready to launch Sidri here? Uh, no, I'm not. We need to be at the right phase angle. Surface sample, EVA report, crew report. And then... Return to Kerbin from orbit of Ike. Yeah. It looks like we can do these things. Actually, I wanted this to be the launch music. <laughs> okay, I'm holding the protractor up to the screen as usual. Trying my best to get this right. Let's see, a little bit more. Okay, that looks like 45 degrees. We've got fins, we've got reaction wheels, we've got a big gimbling engine at the center. We should not be flipping. Right, Sidri? Right. Okay, I want to restart this track because I want it to be our launch music. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, the flips in far, you mean? Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Now, this is a nice streamlined lander that doesn't require any sort of fairing, right? Right? Seems like a good idea. Probably could use one of the service modules to... the service bays to tuck some of that stuff that's sticking out in. It's the only flaw here. Haven't used the service bay in this series, or what you call it, streaming yet, have I? Okay, now we will make a drastic turn to 20 degrees. Okay, well this is pretty excellent. Okay, thanks for the feedback. Always worried about how the stream is going out. Okay, let me throw down just in case. Let's see, where are we? Okay, we're, we're at a good apoapsis, so we could probably just circularize with the... with the Poodle engine. Alright, well, pretty expensive stage. If we get the tools to do so, we should try and recover that sort of stage. But for now, we'll just let it go. And I guess I'll plot the circularization just for my reference. Not the smoothest launch I could have asked for. We should have flattened out a lot quicker. It was the high thrust to weight ratio. We should have actually been sort of at the bottom end of the prograde vector all the way down. Okay, I think we need to go. I need an Elon Musk Kerbal to get my booster stage back. Well, yeah, I'm trying to trying to figure out how to be uh, a protege of Elon Musk. Have I ever tried a stage recovery mod? Uh, yes, I have. I tried uh, FMRS, is the flight manager for recovery stages one, is the one I use most often. Um, but I tried stage recovery as well. I have a video comparing the two somewhere. 
but um, yeah, I might have to go back to it because FMRS is really buggy, and it always crashes my game when I try to recover the darn thing. So I might have no choice but to use stage recovery instead. But I do want to try and land the stages. Yeah, but I really do want to land the stages properly. So I that's why I used FMRS, but if FMRS is because uh, I have I usually have those in very modded installs, and FMRS just doesn't play nice in those. New stage recovery now supports multiple launch sites for RSS. Sounds good. Oh, we're a bit skewed. Oh well. Let us get the transfer underway. We, we're trying a complicated Ike mission involving visual surveys and, uh, and that sort of thing. Okay, I think I brought the orbit in the wrong way. Uh, in the dev notes, I'll... Uh, all Harvester seemed to be talking about was uh, the Uni 5 upgrade, which I guess he's mostly focused on. I expect that he's got the burden of the work on that one. Okay, I think that's close enough, uh, judging from... Just by tweaking the stuff, I don't think I'm gonna get any better right now. So let us point towards the vector. Get ready for this. Played a long time, but how did you learn all the real life mechanics? Um, which mechanics? They're different things. Aerodynamics, uh, I have a feel for because I played Flight Sim. Um, orbital mechanics, I learned from the game. And then by reading books. I have a lot of books. My, yeah, I, I guess that's the short answer. Oh, YouTube videos. <laughs> there are great lectures on all this stuff in YouTube videos. There are a lot of colleges and universities that post their videos on YouTube. And so if you look, if you want to find uh, rocket propulsion, just type it up in YouTube. There's actually Indian universities that have a whole bunch of rocket propulsion lectures and stuff like that. And so orbital mechanics, you can just, you can find out a lot of stuff just by searching YouTube. They have actual college lectures on all this stuff, which is my preferred way to go because I like to listen to things. I'm not that much of a reader, actually. Um, I like to listen and, if necessary, take notes. That's quicker for me. Yeah, Stanford physics lectures. Those are more general. Those are uh, those are theoretical physics. Um, I don't think they have uh, mechanics. They they might do. They they have a lot of interesting ones like Fourier transforms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uni five won't be in this update. It that it's just that that's what Harvester is working on. I, this this update probably has other tweaks that the rest of the the guys are focused on. Okay, well that's that's pretty good. Five uh, 959 kilometers. Maybe just a little bit better. Oh well it's not getting uh, it's a Nike encounter I'm sure or something like that. Okay, we'll take that. 7.7 .7 meters per second. I think that's pretty good. We can Sidri, I think we can head out, but make sure you face your solar panels towards the sun. We don't have too many solar panels on this. Be careful with that. Okay, let's get out of Curve and Sphere of Influence. Let's at least get this thing to Ike before I have to call it a day. You'll be busy all weekend. Uh, well, you know, I... I Usually people are busy on the weekdays, so I was hoping the weekends would be a little bit more free, but, you know, the things come up, I understand. Well, uh, well, hopefully you can catch the VODs or the vids on YouTube, it's just so you can catch up and get some entertainment out of it. 19.1 meters per second now? Hey, wait a minute. I thought it was only 7.7. Hmm... 
This might not do what I wanted to do, but let's see. Okay, that's not doing what I wanted it to do. Okay, time warp messed with me. Okay, well, let's do it the proper way then. Focus view on Duna. Earlier maneuvers sent you back into Kerbin SOI briefly. Yeah, that's possible. It, it, that's uh, that was a time warp thing. At least that, ah, that's what I call it. You have trust issues with the maneuver planner? Yep. Switching SOI warp. Yeah, yep. Yes, it is linked. That's an old thing. I wish they had fixed it, but I guess it's sort of baked in. Yep, that's always been a thing. Okay, our craft is no longer optimal in terms of catching solar rays, so let's change that. Okay, continuing. Skip it by going 1x right when you switch SOI. Yeah. Um, of course, the best way to do it is curve alarm clock, right? Which slows you down right when you're crossing an SOI and avoids the bug, but... I am very impatient. Found a stream where Nightbot had a lot of commands. Yeah, yeah. I I have not I have not built any commands in the Nightbot. You have to sort of configure those. Oh dear. Um, where do we have to land? Oh right, Ike. Well, this is not good. Uh, we need to be going counterclockwise to meet up with Ike. Not a year. Don't give me. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just do it by sight then. Um, okay, that's not a good idea. Let's do inclination change. Okay, wish Kerbal had Lagrangian points. Would make transfers much easier. Um, yeah, there are tricks. Of course, that's a sophist sophisticated way to go. Uh, the problem is. It would probably create immense lag for the game to do all the calculations for uh, three body in body physics and all that in body gravitational effects. So I think most of us would probably be willing to sacrifice the Grange points in favor of actually having some performance left. <laughs> that's that's sort of that uh, that's what the devs undoubtedly thought about when using patch conics this way. Get your polar coats on, it's cold. No, we are not going into polar orbit with high eccentricity and then... No, 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 not happening. Yeah, like everything was... And... <laughs> wow, I, I don't know how to do that with Nightbot yet. Do I think I'll ever do stuff like that with Nightbot? I hope so. I, I want to learn more about Nightbot, but I'm not there yet. Uh, it is now just a very, very coarse tool for me. Error break time, yep. So, I guess back to our... We've already been listening to some of the error break music, but let's get a little bit closer and then I'll queue up the error break music. So, verifying, we are at uh, approximately 24 kilometers, which was a safe error breaking altitude. We are pretty much in line with Ike right now. Also, the abandoned, ambitious Duna mission. We all remember that. Here we go. Come on, computer. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna have Sid hold the uh, hold the retro. I think we'll be all right. In fact, I don't think we'll even get flames. Nope, no flames. Up we go again. The question is whether we get into orbit or whether we have to light the poodle in order to get into orbit. I think we'll get into orbit here. Maybe not. Okay, I think we're gonna have to actually force ourselves into orbit. There just wasn't much drag on this one, I guess. Well, it looks like we're gonna miss Ike on this pass. Let's just get into a stable orbit first. 
Okay. Uh, that's not what I want, actually. Come on, Sidri, don't overcorrect here. Ah, that looks like stable orbit. Okay, now... Don't seem to be hitting Ike there. Let's keep going around. Okay, I think we can do something here. <laughs> okay, something like that. I guess that'll work. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, let's get Sidri into orbit around Ike. And we'll leave him there at the end of this stream. Because I have to head off and do other stuff. And then I will proceed with this on Saturday. Uh, Atman says, are you using KSB Music Mod by Pizza Overload? No. I am actually playing a bunch of Kevin McLeod tracks in in VLC Media Player. I think he made something to replace the stock default music tracks with other choices from... Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, the soundtrack editor mod. I've seen it. Um, I wanted to be able to play music on demand. Uh, and since I know the tracks pretty well, I decided that I would just uh, put them in VLC Media Player and queue them up myself. Okay, ever heard of the game Warface? 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 I don't know. I have not heard of Warface. Okay, let's focus on Ike now. Where are our locations? Okay, those two are fine, but I thought we had three locations. Oh, uh, these two must be really close together, let's see. Yeah, they're really close together. Crew report, so we only have to land on these two, and they're really close. That's the... That's the one in space. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's get into it first. Let's try and have some inclination to us. Yeah, I actually don't play many free-to-play games. Tried a few. I mean, why not, right? But never really got into them. Actually, of all the free-to-play games, probably the one I spent the most time on is Star Trek Online. <laughs> uh, so, you know how I am. Based on that, I'm sure. Okay, well, Sidri is ready to go at Ike. For one of the contracts, all we have to do is now bring him back from, from this orbit. So that's hopefully going to be relatively easy. And for the rest, we have to get the surface sample and EVA report at these locations, these two and then just hover over that one above 9,400 meters and take a crew report. Uh, do I ever play games off stream or not recording? Yeah! Yeah, I do. Um, actually, yeah. I mean, obviously, like I said, Star Trek Online, I've never recorded or played games off stream. Yeah, I'm not one of those people who only plays when they're streaming or recording, no. Um, yeah, I don't have a life. I, I basically that's that's the best way of putting it but most of the time I'm playing KSP uh, but some a lot of this KSP stuff I do you don't see it's sort of like that all right anyway let us conclude the music and I will say we'll leave it here and we'll pick this up with Sidri on the weekend uh, at Saturday 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time and 8 p.m. GMT all right so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't followed already, please do follow. And uh, well, you know my schedule, and I'll keep uh, keep at it. So, so yep. See you next time.